this is that country. So we're here with uh, Jesse at Shimano. He's the product manager for Footwear. He's going to run us through their new mountain and road lines, what we can expect from them here in the next few months. Jesse, thanks for taking some time out to talk to us. All right, thank so you. So tell us about the new shoes that are coming out and what makes them so exciting. All right, so what we're going to talk about right now is our new mountain bike shoes. And uh, basically, they're the new Enduro Trail shoes. Um, but I prefer to call them mountain bike shoes because that's what they are, in essence. Um, what we did is um, we looked at um, we looked at basically um, rider usage requirements. Right? That's our that's the Shimano approach. We do a lot of observations. We um, we figure out exactly what's going on when riders are riding their bikes in the different ter terrains, conditions, riding styles, and so on. And uh, we work with our engineers to develop technologies that can accommodate those usage specific requirements. So for our new trail shoe slash enduro shoe. We looked at what was going on in the marketplace, a lot of gravity riding, a lot of pedaling still, a lot of climbing going on. Um, so we wanted to dress it with a shoe that not only was lightweight, but also had the durability and the armor and the protection of a good solid trail shoe. Um, so we came up with the completely redesigned M200. And it's a top to bottom shoe. So what I'm gonna do is talk about the bottom because this is actually one of the most uh, anticipated innovations from our side that we're very excited about. So we call this the Toroball outsole. So let's talk about the rubber outsole first. This is a triple density rubber outsole. And the colored sections are high density, um, high durable rubber because those are the key contact points. So you have the hike a bike section in the front, you have the pedal interface when you're off the cliff, and of course you have the heel strike when you're off the bike after the ride, walking around, enjoying your beer, and talking with your friends. So you want to keep the durability of that outsole as much as possible. The black outsole that you see here is the Shimano Standard Rubber. So very durable, very dependable. And then we also added the third density, which is at the pedal interface. When you're pedaling, you want to make sure that that pedaling effectiveness is maintained. So very, very rigid very stiff block for that pedaling effectiveness. Just improves the contact between the shoe and the, and the pedal. Absolutely, because it is a rubber outsole, right? When rubber is, uh, is tensioned, it compresses. So you want to minimize that compression. Now the other big thing that we, we, uh, we developed was we observed, again, what how riders were riding their bikes. So as you know, when you're descending a bike, there's a lot of body English movement that's going on. And uh, we wanted to accommodate that movement with a torsional outsole. A lot of brands out there are making shoes that are more walkable. So they are more walkable in a sense that they're, the sole flexes on a vertical plane. But the reality is, is that when you're out riding, you're doing a lot of this body English movement, right? The bike is leaned, you're leaned, right? The trail is angled, right? So there's a lot of motion, a lot of dynamic motion going on. So we wanted to find a balance between this torsional movement and the pedaling effectiveness. So we maintain the pedaling effectiveness with the rigidity, but also balance that with the torsional flex on the heel structure. So you can see that the, the insole or the mid plate is very wet, it's an over engineered mid plate. Right? High ridges, right? Again, maintaining that torsional balance. Pedaling effectiveness and uh, torsional movement for that body English uh, requirement. Um, the other thing that we've done too is we've added uh, a very thick EVA insole. Because not only do you want comfort when you're strut when you're you know dropping down those two foot drops for impact, but you also want comfort of the EVA when you're walking around. When you're out having that beer, you know, talking about your your, your, your gnarly rides, your exploits, your exploits, right? You want to definitely be comfortable off the bike. So, and we on this particular model, we added a dual density to the insole. So the the uh, the green is actually a stiffer density, and we wanted to, and the reason we did that is because we wanted to maintain the structure of the insole for the long term. We didn't want to break this thing to break down, especially for this type of rider who's going to put some high miles on the ship. And these are not moldable like some of your other no, products. It's not a custom yeah. fit mold, no, not, not in this particular uh, shoe. So the next thing is that we added too is we extended the cleat range. So now the cleat range is now eight millimeters further back. And this again through observation of what riders are doing. 
what, what was happening is a lot of these gravity riders originally started with flat pedals, and they ultimately transitioned to a clipless pedal. So they wanted more of a midfoot leap position on those. Absolutely, and that's because they've learned how to control their bikes and position their foot on their pedals to control their bikes better. So again, this is through observation and understanding of the user, you know, these, uh, this usage requirement. So extended clean range is a big deal because not only did we just extend the range, we had to make this alto a little bit more stiffer to maintain the durability of this bigger hole. So, um, so and again, that's that's basically the the, the whole alto uh, redesign. Now, if you look at the upper, the upper, there's really nothing uh, major as far as redesign. We maintain a lot of the requirements as far as uh, armor protection. So you got armor reinforcements on the toe box, and you got armor uh, protection on the in, on the inside of the heel. And the other cool thing that we added is we borrowed the low profile buckle from our high end road shoe, mm -hmm. and we felt it really adapted very well to this type of rider because it really keeps that low profile right. with a... Prevent damage if you do rock strikes, things exactly. like that. Exactly, yeah. so you can squeeze in between those two rocks uh, without, without fear of damaging that buckle. Yeah. The other thing that we added too is we added a quick lace mechanism on the front end and that's to accommodate a wider range of foot shapes. So if you want to run, uh, say for example, you have a high volume toe box or, or foot, you can accommodate this by just a simple expansion of the laces right. and you can cinch them up. Also, it allows to maintain that foot very stable on the front end for pedaling. So you can really tighten it up for that race situation or race condition. So there you go, the flap just adds another layer of protection to keep the, to keep the laces clean and also it's just easier to wipe down after those rides, after those muddy rides. So there you go, that's the M200. And uh, this retails for $180, and it will be available in stores by November. And then these uh, half sizes are just full sizes? Full sizes only. Uh -huh. The size range is from 38 to 48. Excellent. It's available in black, as you see it, and we will have a special edition color that we'll introduce in sometime in the spring. Jesse, thank you so much for your time. Really yeah. appreciate it. We're excited about the right. M200. Thank you for having me.